and diehard fans sacrificed a lot to make it out to Las Vegas, including one man who is overcoming a big challenge to take on the races. Zahid Arab has more from the track. The roar of the engine. <laughs> Fuels excitement. I would love to meet Jimmy Johnson. The smell of the exhaust intoxicating. NASCAR, Las Vegas style. Nice girls, shiny costumes. Three and four over there coming to the start finish line. For Sean and his brother Chris, it's the perfect present. Our parents, you know, got us a chance to go for Christmas. You got Elliot Sadler, he's got the tap out car. From high up in the stands, hearing the cars fly by races his heart. I've been a NASCAR fan since I was born. Kyle Busch, Carl Edwards, Ricky Stenhouse, Kevin Harvick. Precise play-by-play -play from his brother Chris serves an important purpose. I got no vision in my right eye and I got about 10 or 15 percent in my left eye. A brain tumor wrapped around his optic nerves has affected his sense of sight since he was four and a half. This resembles the race from his point of view. Since I can't see it, you know, I have to rely on sounds. The smell of the racing feel and the burning tires. Kyle Busch gets it in the box. The announcers are a big part of, you know, me watching NASCAR because they basically tell the race. What's his name now? I can't even think. Brian Scott. Chris fills in the gaps. People tell him he can't do it. He's going to go out and do it. He rides four-wheelers, you know, wrestles. I mean, does everything people can tell him he can't do. Kicks my butt at basketball. Unlike other sports, NASCAR allows people of all abilities the chance to be a fan. If you're deaf, if you're in a wheelchair, whatever, you can be a fan of the sport. It may seem like a challenge, but for two brothers, it's just an afternoon at the track. Zahid Arab, 8 News Now. Great story there. Sean and Chris plan to soak up the activities this weekend before returning home to Washington State, we're told, in just a few days.